Hey you guys, it's Brittany and welcome back to my channel. So today's video I am doing my 14 week baby bump update. Now every single Monday I turn another week. So currently I am 15 weeks and one day pregnant as I am filming this today. So just like how I did my pregnancy updates with my daughter, I always did everything a week behind. So for instance, I'll let my whole 14 weeks go by and then that's when I will film my 14 week update technically when I'm 15 weeks and then when I'm 16 weeks I will then film my 15 week update so if that makes sense this is like my 14 15 week baby bump update but I'm only going to talk about everything that happened during my 14 weeks of pregnancy because honestly I've only been 15 weeks pregnant for one day so I don't have a lot to share so I hope that kind of makes sense that's how I did it with my last pregnancy update video so if you guys ever watch those and you're you will be familiar with how I kind of do it but if you haven't I will have the playlist down below and also flash on the iCards if you just want to watch you know all my old pregnancy updates with my daughter you're more than welcome to so right now I'm just getting open my Ovia pregnancy app this was not the pregnancy app I used with my daughter I don't remember which one I used I'm sure I could watch my videos and find out but I really like it and I'm just basically going to read everything that happened during my 14 weeks of pregnancy as far as development goes with baby. So let me just get it open here. So for 14 weeks pregnant, it says baby is the size of a brilliant beat. It says baby's immune system is starting to develop. And it also says that baby is moving around like crazy, although I probably cannot feel it, which is true. I can't feel, I haven't felt any movement yet. So, um, but it says, but by week 14, a baby can squint, frown, and even suck on their thumb, which is kind of cute. It also says that they have fur-like lanugo, I think is the word, is how you say it, is covering most of their body to keep them warm before baby's fat comes in. It says baby is growing like crazy and should be about three and a half inches long, which is the size of a beet, and has doubled in weight since last week. Um, it also says um, that as far as mommy goes, it says welcome to second trimester because 14 weeks is the start of the second trimester, so thank God I'm so done with the first trimester. That was really rough for me, as you guys would have seen in my pregnancy update that I did for the entire first trimester. If you haven't watched it, check it out. It'll be in the iCards, also in the description. Um, but it says, yeah, that most women enjoy the second trimester, which I know I loved it with my daughter. Um, <clears throat> it also says that Headaches and dizziness are common symptoms of the second trimester, as is round ligament pain, which presents itself when your growing womb puts added pressure on your ligaments. So it says, I may feel discomfort in my lower abdomen or groin. Um, and that's pretty much it. And it just also says that your breasts are going to continue to grow, but the soreness is likely to decrease, as will the constant need to pee and your fatigue. And it says, doesn't your second trimester feel lovely? Um, put my phone on silent since it just went off. But yeah, so that's basically everything that's going to be going on with baby and I during week 14. And then also it gives a little bit about the second trimester. So I would definitely say my symptoms I feel like are the same. I am still urinating a lot. I'm having to get up in the middle of the night one to two times in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom. Um, that was definitely normal throughout my first trimester as well. So that's nothing new, but I don't really know if I mentioned that in my first trimester updates. Um, I haven't had any headaches or dizziness as it said, but I'm sure I'll feel that along the way. I haven't had any abdominal or groin pain either, but I'm sure probably as the second trimester continues on, I'll probably start to feel that. Um, as far as my boobs go, my boobs are still tender. They are not as painful as the first trimester, but they're definitely tender. Like if you push on them, you know, it's a little tender, but it's definitely a lot better than what it was. Um, and then I know I talked about having a little bit of brown discharge in my first trimester update and I did have a little bit of brown discharge for two days during my 14 weeks. Um, but like I said, they told me that that would probably be happening throughout my entire pregnancy because of the subchorionic hemorrhage and they told me not to stress because brown is old blood so that's okay. However, it just kind of sucks because you don't want to constantly have discharge, you know what I mean? It's just, it's gross. I mean. Um, but it's not every single day and it's not every single time I go to the bathroom and wipe there's discharge. It's just a couple of times and I think it only happened for two days. But other than that, my symptoms honestly have been the same except for week 14. I, if you guys watch my daily vlogs and you guys already know, I was on fire that week. I seriously had so much motivation. I got so much done. I was just on a roll Monday to Friday. Saturday, Sunday, I work 
10 hour shifts and I was really out of it Saturday and Sunday and I think maybe it's just because it was so busy at work I'm also working 10 hour shifts which I think once I can change my schedule I shouldn't do 10 hours anymore I should just do eight hour shifts because I think 10 hours is a little bit taking a toll on my body honestly and especially being pregnant but um but yeah Monday through Friday I filmed like four extra videos I got so much stuff done I was cleaning like crazy I had a burst of energy so I don't know if that's because of the whole like second trimester or if I just had a burst of energy I'm not really sure um, but I mean I felt great I still had my sinus infection which I don't think I have it anymore I'm still a little bit stuffy and I have a little bit of a cough but it's not so bad and I actually finished my antibiotics yesterday on Monday but other than that that's really all I have for my 14 week baby bump update not a lot of changes other than that like burst of energy I feel like my body's been the same I've been feeling the same it's just that burst of energy which has been amazing because I got so much done and I felt so accomplished last week um, um, and then next week, which is crazy, on Monday, July 24th, we have our anatomy scan, and that's when they do like you know the full scan to find out the gender, but also to see if baby is developing properly. They also look for signs of you know Down syndrome, also other problems or complications, or if the baby's you know missing a ligament, for instance, or something like that. So that I believe is an hour and 15 minutes that ultrasound they said. And then I, after the ultrasound is when I speak with the doctor, and I think that is 30 minutes long. So they told me to prepare to be there for two hours at that appointment. Um, but I'm really excited. And I will be 16 weeks pregnant, which I guess is unusual because typically you have to wait between 18 to 22 weeks pregnant for the scan. And they just want me to go and do the scan because I had my doctor's appointment, I believe it was two weeks ago now, and they did an ultrasound. And the doctor thought that she saw fluid. And I didn't ask her, I should have asked her, well, what kind of fluid, what does that mean? Obviously, it's not good that she saw fluid because she saw fluid, or she thought it was, she told me that she wants me to get that anatomy scan and ultrasound done earlier than the 18 to 22 week mark, just to be safe. Um, so I don't really know what that means. I should have asked and my husband told me not to Google it because I'll go crazy, but I'm just trying to think positive and just tell myself, well, hey, I get to see my baby earlier and I get to find out the gender basically a month, you know, two weeks to a month earlier than what I would have found out. So they said we will get to find out the gender as long as, you know, baby doesn't, you know, cross their legs or something like that. So that's really exciting to kind of know like, hey, next week I will get to know the sex of my baby and then we're going to have a gender reveal party. So that's really exciting. I'm going to do a separate video on that. But I'm just really excited. Um, I'm trying to think positive. The only thing is, is I haven't gotten to hear the baby's heartbeat yet, which is kind of annoying because at my last appointment, they said that we would hear the baby's heartbeat. And then we didn't get to hear the baby's heartbeat and they did an ultrasound instead. So I go back to the doctor August 2nd. So I think I am going to ask them at that appointment, hey, when do I get to hear the baby's heartbeat? Like, what's up? Or maybe I'll ask at the ultrasound too, be like, hey, I've never listened to the baby's heartbeat. I've never heard it. Is there any way... Do you have a Doppler? Can I listen to the baby's heartbeat? So, because I'm dying to obviously hear the baby's heartbeat. So I'm hoping I'll get to because it's like, come on. Um, but I was thinking about getting a Doppler, but I've just been looking and I don't know which Doppler to get. So if you guys have purchased an in-home like fetal Doppler and you love it, definitely comment down below with what brand that you got or if you know like where you bought it from because I'm definitely thinking about buying one just to have it because, you know, I'm 14 weeks pregnant, well, technically 15 weeks pregnant, and I haven't heard the baby's heartbeat yet, so it's just kind of nuts, you know? I feel like when my first pregnancy, we got to hear the heartbeat every single appointment since the very first one. So I'm kind of like Jones in, you know, to hear my baby's little heartbeat flutter. But, um, but yeah, that's all I have. So short and quick, I think this video is hopefully, but let me go ahead and show you a baby bump shot. I don't think I've grown much, but I'll definitely show you the baby bump. So here is the baby bump shot. Um, and then I'll show you, which I never did this with my daughter. So it's kind of funny to actually guys show you guys my belly, but like I said, I don't really think uh, I've grown a ton. I think it looks pretty much the same. But yeah, this is my technically 15 week bump. But yeah, there he or she is. 
So that is all I have for my 14 week baby bump update. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe so you don't miss any of the pregnancy updates. I also daily vlog and I also do playing with me and like planner videos. So if you're into all of that good stuff, definitely subscribe so you don't miss a video. But I will see you guys in the next video. So thank you so much for watching. Bye.